Hey guys, it's Chris with How to Make Games, and today we are going over three tips that will help you tremendously in GDevelop as far as developing all your games. They're kind of universal tips that you'll use all over the place. Um, <clears throat> I know they really helped me. I went quite a while without using them, and I really regret it because uh, the amount of work they would have saved me is just asinine. So I uh, really like you guys to have these. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the Project Manager tab. And first thing we're going to go over on top of that is going to be external events. These things can seem kind of daunting. Don't let them scare you. So um, the biggest thing about this is going to be think of them kind of like a, a box that's um, universal. You can use these. Well, not universal. They're, you can use them anywhere in any one project. So uh, you can see I have one called Player. B, snake, uh, R, mushroom, that just stands for red mushroom, G, U, I, that's graphics user interface, and then objects, so anything the player can interact with. Okay, so if we exit this and then go into the events for the scene, you can see I have include events from all the way down here. That's what it says, include events from player, include events from G, U, I. Um, so these are all external events. So what I did to create these here, actually I'll show you what it looks like. Just like you're used to, it looks like a separate scene of events. But, and it is essentially, all I'm doing is I'm calling them into this scene here. And the way I created it is I went to the project manager tra or tab and I went to add external events. Uh, so I just click that and then you can right click, rename it. Um, and then of course, when you want to edit it, you can choose the scene. You would choose level one choose and then you would just start adding from here so obviously I don't need this so I'm going to delete that um, let's go ahead and delete this one too excellent okay so implementing this means every time you make a level in your game you won't have to copy paste the same events or groups or what have you into every single scene which saves you loads of time and it also helps your game out too uh, I've seen it actually impact performance heavily whenever I'm copy pasting uh, events or groups everywhere inside a project it just it bulks up the game big time and not in a good way so uh, that's the first thing um, and I'm probably going to go over these in, in more detail separately in separate videos later uh, but for now we're just going to go over these three so you guys can have a general idea of it of course you can go to the wiki page for gdevelop it'll show you all the things you need to know about it um, I do feel like it, it does miss out in some details here and there but uh, of course you guys can always ask me in the comments or email me if you have if you get stuck on one of your games or something like that in this area I can help you with that so um, we're going to go on to the next one it's called external layouts so uh, I think the number one thing you would use this for, unless you're making a very particular game like um, like Asteroids or something like that, where you would want to spawn a certain amount of um, Asteroids here or there on a level and then just have it randomize um, some variables or what have you. I'm just thinking of things off the top of my head. You could probably just do that by another means. But uh, biggest thing is the GUI. So when I click on this, it's going to open up a scene here. And it looks like a separate scene, which it is, but in this case, this scene is overlaid on top of this scene. You see how there's no GUI here at all? That's because it's called when the level is launched, and it's that way on every level. So when you go over here... Okay, and it looks just like any other scene in the project. And it is. It is a scene. Uh, so don't don't let that scare you. Um, basically, what this does is this overlays this whatever you put in this scene in the exact place that you put it on top of the other scene that you call it into. So this is implemented a little differently than your external events here. Um, so you're not going to be calling it specifically here in this way. Uh, what I did is I here I'm going to close this so you guys can see it. I in included this in my external events GUI. So that way anytime I include GUI on one of my levels, it automatically calls my GUI external layout as well. So I don't have to lay that out in every single level by hand, huge pain. So huge. this is a huge time saver. So at the beginning of the scene, see it says create GUI. At the beginning of the scene, create objects from the external layout named GUI. And that's it. I don't have to do anything else. I only had to do that one time. Um, and then I can just use this GUI external um, external event anywhere in the entire project and it will automatically create this for me and then apply all of these rules to that GUI. So phenomenal. 
<clears throat> uh, the last thing is going to be really, really helpful as well. So functions and behaviors. Uh, so this, you guys can see I have a long list of uh, things I've used in here. I've been experimenting with these things. So um, you can actually search for new extensions here. Uh, you can also add your own if you like. Uh, I'm going to be working on that here pretty soon. But uh, number one thing is uh, searching for new extensions. I had to actually stumble upon this. It was actually a really good find. So uh, like much like the other ones on this list. <clears throat> so you can actually search for uh, create multiple copies of an object. I'm actually using that right now for a uh, card game. So I'm actually going to go over some tutorials with that particular style of game here pretty soon. So I'm looking forward to that with you guys. Um, so you can see there's a lot of stuff in here. Internet connectivity, time back and forth movement. This is really good for enemies, uh, platforms. Uh, rotate a, a string 13 characters. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Uh, gamepad support so that is super important uh, flash layer that's really important uh, snap to virtual grid again I use that for my card game animate shadow clones so that's really cool that's like for when you're moving around um, sorry about that hit the mic <clears throat> so I mean there's a lot of really cool stuff in here you guys definitely should check this out um, and you can filter things out here or there so lots of fun stuff uh, anyway that is all I can think of currently as far as things that uh, you guys would definitely want to keep in mind for making your life easier when while being a G developer. So uh, if you can think of anything else that I might have missed that your fellow G developers might benefit from, put it in the comment section. If you guys liked this video or if you took something from it, anything like that value, please like and subscribe so I can give you guys more videos. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.